Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it's your boy Anubis bringing you another vlog today. Um, when you're seeing this video, it's actually Friday, and I actually just woke up. It is uh, about 3 p.m. I actually woke up about 30 minutes ago, but, you know, I wanted to kind of just fully wake up and not look like a total slug. And, yeah, my hair's all fudged up. Didn't even care. Haven't even, you know, got out the shower yet. I got to stream in about two hours. But I wanted to make this vlog today because I wanted to talk about some new content that has been talked about a million times before here on YouTube and throughout the gaming community, throughout the streaming community, throughout the world. Fake female streamers is what females do to get viewers to get themselves noticed or recognized within the community of gamers and streamers and YouTube. Absolutely ridiculous what some females will do and this just proves what I'm about to show you here in just a minute. This proves right here what females are willing to do for views, for money, for subscribers, and to get themselves promoted in any way, shape, and form. Now, I'm not talking about all you ladies out there. I don't mean every single one of you females go out and do this. I'm not trying to bash females across the world, but there are many, many exceptions of you out there that you know you do this kind of shit without admitting it or without being truthful to yourself. At least this chick comes out and admits what she does for streaming, for YouTube, for any time that she presents herself online. So I'm going to have you guys watch this video momentarily and then we'll come back to talking more about everything she's discussing and what my thoughts are on this video. We'll be right back. Alright, hi everybody. Hi, world. Um, I know what you guys are all thinking. Uh, no, I'm not wearing any makeup. Uh, actually, uh, this is the most naked my face has been in public in a very long time. But um, today I decided uh, to show you guys <clears throat> what it took for me to prepare for one of my previous streams before I did the switch. So, I'm calling this Preparing the Boobs. So I'm going to be running through makeup, I'm going to be running through the bra that I used, I'm going to compare it to another bra. Okay, so let me stop her right there for a second. So already guys, you hear her talking about her boobs, the bra she normally wears, and then a special bra that she uses just for streaming or YouTube or for doing any content that she normally does. And then she's talking about how quick she's going to do her makeup. Now, gentlemen, we all know ladies take their time with their makeup. Now, you're about to see something here in just a moment, and we'll comment on that. And I'm going to show you guys just how uncomfortable it actually is, and time not only uncomfortable, but time-consuming it actually is to do the type of streaming that I was doing. So I'm going to start with makeup. I'll do a really fast uh, go-through on makeup. Uh, then we'll move into the bras, uh, and then we'll finish off with uh, clothing choices. Um, short, small disclaimer, um, I'm not saying that women that dress this way are wrong. I'm not saying that I'm judging those women and a lot of people do feel comfortable that way or feel sexy and that's what's important to them. But me personally, there's no fucking way that I could, I actually considered drinking bleach several times while preparing for one of my streams. And now it's that time again to cut her off. Now she said, you know, that there's no way she can do what? She cut herself off and then started over talking about drinking bleach. Now, obviously, she's saying she couldn't do this, that this, this is not something she can do on a daily basis, but apparently does. And then she's making a YouTube video about it, and it just gets worse from here. It gets far more inappropriate. Stay tuned. And here's why. Okay, so we'll start with makeup. Um... Now, just to save you guys time, we're going to fast forward to where So as you can see here, from where I left it, it's been like about four minutes. So about four minutes, this is just her doing her makeup. But this is also all fast forwarded. Now, wait to hear how long 
it takes her to do her makeup for just what little she did even though i know a lot of females are probably gonna say oh anubis you don't understand it's quite a lot actually and it takes a lot to do all that to do the contouring and the blending and whatever but you know when i think of a woman putting on makeup i think it's just you know like a little bit on the eyes a little blush a little whatever obviously i'm a guy i don't know all that goes into it you know i know very little from what i see but you know for me 15 to 30 minutes to put on just some, you know, makeup on your eyes and no lipstick or nothing else. Kind of a little bit of a too long of a time if you're asking me. But that's just me. Just now that the makeup part is done, which takes about anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes depending on what you're doing. I did a really lazy job today, but you guys can't really tell because of the camera. Um... <clears throat> but this can take up to 30 even 40 minutes just to do face after you showered um, and then after the makeup now we can move on to the interesting stuff which is uh, the bras so I'm going to compare uh, a normal everyday bra that I wear same color same everything to the bra that I was wearing while streaming and this is a very specific bra to streaming so Okay, we need to stop it right there. Time out. So, as I said earlier in the beginning of this video, she is wearing a special bra just for streaming. Like, this is what blows my mind. And this is obviously why females are so popular on Twitch. Guys, it gets even more interesting, and I have so much more to comment on. Stay tuned. So, here's a normal bra here. This is my normal, everyday, whatever the fuck. Uh, no pad, like, zero padding chill bra like uh, this is comfortable this, I mean it's not comfortable it still sucks a lot of dick but it's it's more comfortable than what I was wearing so everyday bra right here okay so you can see no padding it's just just flap right okay now I'm going to show you a bra on steroids so this is what I was wearing for streaming um, you can see it's literally just a fucking I don't even know. It's like a stuffed animal almost. Um, this is called a double push-up bra. They sell it at um, not even a push-up bra. It's a double push-up bra. They sell it at Lacenza. This is Lacenza's bra. Uh, you can see the padding there, right? Um, not only that, but you can actually see from the last time I wore it streaming. Um, I've crossed the two back straps over. So when you cross the back straps over, <clears throat> it makes them even shorter and makes them. It forces the uh, when it's on you to, to tighten up even more and to push to push up even more um, so I'm actually gonna show you what they look like on compared to each other just so you guys can get like a feel so I am a 32 double D okay time out now she's saying she's a 32 double D but yet in this video here at least in this particular video she does not even look anywhere near a D cup at all. Now, most of you men, pretty good with boobs at least. I know a lot of us stare at them and gawk at them. Come on now, let's be honest. Girl, you are not a 32 double D. Especially if you need a double push-up bra. Unless your boobs sag like grannies, then there should be no reason why you're using a double push-up bra. To expose your double D's. If you had double D's, they would naturally expose themselves without the necessary need for a push up bra. You are a liar and a deceiver to yourself and to all the people that watch you. You are not a 32 double D. Stop lying. Um, I will show you on the backs of these bras. It does say 32 double D. This is a 32 double D, believe it or not. Um, I'll even show you the actual cups. So this- Okay, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, cover your eyes. This is where it gets pretty eh, if you know what I mean. So all you horny little boys out there, you might want to go uh, take a cold shower real quick. I'll be back myself in about 30 minutes. This is actually, like, with no support, just a bra. Okay, and this is shit like um, that I've never shown before, uh, but I'm just showing you the actual fit of what uh, a comfortable bra looks like. Okay. Oh, 
All right, so this is a double push-up, 32 double deep rock. Okay, one more time, time out. Sorry, there's gonna be many timeouts of this video. I know you probably just wanna see her boobs already. Like, Anubis, shut up. I wanna look at her boobs. Look at that, okay, that's with her, with the double push-up bra on, like. Those don't even look like D's still, or double D's. If they were double D's, they'd be overflowing, not just like, oh, okay, look at me now, I'm nice and perky and round. Those look like C cups to me, in all honesty. Now, am I an expert? Do I know this woman in person? Have I measured her boobs? Have I fondled her mashuganas? <laughs> no. But, generally, I'm a boob man myself. I like boobs. That's the first thing I honestly notice about a woman's body, before even her booty, is the boobs. I'm a boob guy, so, and I've dated a lot of busty women, and my ex, from when I got thrown out when I was homeless, was a D cup or a double D cup, and she was way bigger than this girl. Even without a push-up bra, her boobs would overflow, <laughs> like, they were massive, and this girl is definitely not a double D. Same boobs, different bra, this is the bra that I wore for streaming. Right, so you don't even want to know where my nipples are right now, dude. <laughs> Seriously though, um, so this is the actual difference between the two bras. This is what this bra does. It's called a double push-up. Um, literally, you you don't want to know where shit is right now. Okay, seriously, girl, how many times are you just gonna whip your boobs out on YouTube on stream? Like, is this what you do on stream too? Like, come on. Guys, Twitch, these are the people you're partnering with? These are the type of, of people you want representing your company? Come on, YouTube, Twitch, get it together. Like, I know YouTube has a lot of other more nastier stuff than this. A lot of other people putting up videos that are a lot more scantily... No, rephrase that. That are more... No, again, rephrase. Take two, take three. There are more females out there that are wearing even less than what she's doing and, and actually exposing themselves a lot more than what she's doing right here. Now, given that, but still, come on, man. Like, you know how many people or guys on Twitch that are small streamers like myself that work hard and try not to be sellouts and try to legitimately build up a fan base by being entertaining, by being silly, by doing things of what we consider value and respectable. Now, I know a lot of women streamers, you guys out there, do the same thing that us men do. You, most of you guys cover up your boobs. You make sure you're not to wear, like, low-cut shirts or tank tops or, like, stuff where it's going to be all about your boobs. And I respect that. I appreciate you people that do that. Now, I know some of you are like, well, you know, hey, Anubis, I got big boobs. I can't really wear shirts like that. My boobs just naturally kind of expose themselves. That's fine and dandy and all. I understand that. But when you are at outwardly admitting doing this type of thing for YouTube, for Twitch, and you're doing this consistently, constantly, day in and day out, when you're one way off the camera and then one way on the camera, is just absolutely disgusting. And you should just quit while you're ahead, much less not get a partnership or sponsors or whatever. And I understand, again, business my frame, sex sells. This kind of stuff will sell your product. You know, you put G Fuel on that one boob and, like, DX Racer on the other boob, and you'd have a winning combination. It'd be amazing. You know, people are like, oh, look at that, DX Racer and G Fuel. Let's buy it because it's on a pair of boobs. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. But it's not where it's supposed to be. Um, it's incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, yes, it does increase... My sexuality, and, and yeah, if I want to feel sexy, like, hey, it's kind of neat that I can make my boobs look fake. Uh, but this is not legitimate. This is not real. This is incredibly uncomfortable. Um, it actually pulls and yanks up this side, and you, you don't even want to know what it looks like in the back. It makes you want to fucking die. Um, do I enjoy uh, wearing this bra? No, it fucking sucks. Uh, sucks a lot of dicks. Uh, sucks a big bag of dicks. If you want to go to the extreme with it, um, I know there's some people that do this. I know that Jenna Marbles has touched on this, and it's a thing. Uh, you can take contouring, so this is contouring. I used to do it for my face when I felt like my face was fat. You can take this shit, 
you can fucking whatever and then uh fuck yeah I didn't think it works on me to be honest uh, it kind of does yeah there you go look at that there you go Anyways, like I said in my previous statement at the beginning of this video, I'm not saying that it's wrong to do this. If you are a female and you feel sexy doing this, all the fucking power to you, man. Now, I agree with her. If you feel sexy, this is something you like doing, you feel comfortable doing this kind of thing, sure, by all means, go ahead. But don't do it for views, don't do it for YouTube and Twitch. You know, if you want to go outside feeling sexy, getting attention like that, or, you know, you just feel confident in yourself, that's great. That's a whole other matter. But when you're doing this strictly for YouTube and Twitch to gain views, to gain popularity, to make yourself more popular and attractive to the people on the online computer, to an online community, then what's the point of you even doing this? If you can't be yourself and be natural and be who you are, then you have no business being in this industry. This is not for you to become a porn star. You're not trying out to become a porn star. You don't need to be presenting yourself in this manner in front of an online audience of people who don't really matter at the end of the day. No offense to my fans out there, I love you guys, don't get me wrong, you know how I am. But this is a whole other matter that I'm discussing on. All the fucking power to you. I just wanted to explain to everybody or let everybody know why I'm personally sick and tired of doing this and not comfortable doing this, nor do I feel like it's right for me to do this. So, just to clarify, because I feel like last time I didn't, Females can do whatever the fuck they want. You you do you. But for me, this is not what I want to do. And uh, I just thought it would be something cool. Now, she says this is something that she doesn't want to do, that she doesn't like doing. Now, if you guys don't see right here, next to me here, <laughs> this video right here, Boobs of Legends, how to make $12,000 on Twitch, it's a video about her. And look at her boobs in this video. I'm going to show you this video too. We're going to play this one right after this one. Just so you guys can see the talking about she doesn't want to do this. She doesn't like doing this. But yet she continues to do it anyway. Makes a lot of sense. Especially when you're getting $12,000 in donations, right? Show you guys uh, what prep used to look like me as a, for me as a streamer. What... Um what I went through every day and why the fuck I wasted so much time in my life wearing a really shitty bra. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna go take this off and take a really long shower because I feel weird. Mom, you'll like this playlist today. This is really warm and I want to put it in between my boobies because... Once again, all about the boobs. Boobs, boobs, boobs. And she's talking about she's tired of doing this? Yeah. Yet, yet, for a whole year, you made it all about these. <laughs> uh. It's cold today. My boobies are cold anyway. Now, I don't own the last video or this video, so this comment you see right here is not for me. I have no ownage of either video, but just wanted to make something funny for all you guys and try to talk about, you know, a little touching base again about how a lot of female streamers work. This is how the community of females, a majority, but not all, and I respect a lot of you females out there because a lot of you females grind hard, work hard, and do a lot of great things without presenting your boobs as some kind of trophy or distraction for all your male viewers or to draw in more male viewers. But, you know, like, if you're cold, exactly, put on a shirt. Just putting coffee between your boobs and wearing a double push-up bra to make your boobs look like they're double D's when they're not. Show boobs you're an A+. Plus. Hey, Scorin, how are you? Man, these, these tits are the realest. Okay. Now, a year ago, she was saying these tits are the realest. But then, in her most recent video, basically saying her tits were fake, or at least fakely presented. A+. Plus. Tits are the realest. You want me to bounce my titties? These actually aren't fake, believe it or not. I think it's more so the They look a little fake when I stand up. They aren't fake. 
They're fakely presented, and they're not double Ds. You are fake, and you fake yourself. You fake your boobs. You are fake. Fake! Man, I have nice titties. I bet you, I... You know why I probably have nice titties? I'll tell you why. Mom, you, you, gave, you gave birth to twins, and it's like, isn't it, uh, it's hereditary, uh, it's a hereditary thing, like, uh, the chance to have birth twins? So maybe I have big titties because there's a large chance of me having twins, so I need to be able to supply two babies with my, um, ample bosom. My mom birthed twins, and, uh... Okay, we're just gonna cut it off right there, because I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm if I go on any longer. Now, I, like I said, I want to quickly apologize to all you females out there who are actually legitimately working hard and doing your own thing. And if you're a natural, busty woman, then more props to you. You know, sometimes I understand big boobs don't exactly fit in a lot of clothing. I understand that, and I respect that. And I know some of you women out there don't purposely do what she's doing. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not trying to make you look bad. You know, I'm not saying boobs aren't fantastic. Like I said, I'm a boob man. I love boobs. But when you're doing this kind of thing for YouTube, for Twitch, for stardom, for fame, and to get views on your channel, views on your Twitch, and to get more people to subscribe to you just for your boobs, it's just, this is what I was talking about in like, you know, in my other videos, you know, this is what messes up the community. These kind of people, not just women, men do the same thing, you know, these men that are maybe, you know, well-toned and deep voice and sounding like fucking, I don't know, Tom Cruise, I don't fucking know, maybe you're into the whole Justin Bieber look, whatever it may be, men and women alike do this, and it's, it's honestly sad that in order for us to achieve stardom, fame, fortune, popularity, we need to demeanor ourselves or show ourselves off in such a manner to appease the media, appease our fans, to draw more people and give ourselves more attention. There's other ways of gaining attention besides looking like a hooker. Come on, people. Like I like I said, guys and girls alike do this, and guys just do it in a different manner. Obviously, Twitch has cracked down on a lot of this, mostly for the male streamers, because males were doing the thing where they were having their shirts off. And, you know, there's a lot of good-looking guys, obviously, you know, occasionally on Twitch. A lot of young men that are, are fit, toned, maybe muscular, maybe cut, you know, defined. And they had their shirts off while they were streaming to draw more female streamers in, or for female streamers, female viewers into their streams. And, uh, you know, like I said, it goes both ways. But it's sickening that this is the kind of thing that gets you a sub button on Twitch, that gets you famous on YouTube, that grows all this insane popularity. But nobody gives a damn about you. All they're looking at is your tits. Tits. That's all they recognize you for. You want to be recognized as a sexual object, by all means, continue doing what you're doing. But if you want people to look up to you, respect you, and admire you, and have some kind of bond with you, if you actually care about your viewers, if you actually care about your subscribers, then you need to give a damn about yourself and what you're presenting to them. Because they're not caring about you. They're not there for you and your personality. They're not there for the entertainment. They're there for only the sexual entertainment. They're there just to stare and oogle and make rude, disgusting comments in chat. Or in your comments. This is the kind of shit that needs to stop. Like, this just blows my mind. But I'm going to end the rant there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and this little topic. Once again, talking about boobs. That's what the title of this video is going to be. Boobs. Alright, guys. So remember, guys, as always, stay cool, be cool, give respect, and you'll get respect in return. Peace. I'm going to go shower now.